Hello there, this is Michelle Knight and this is your January monthly overview. Sorry they're late, I'm still ill. It really is a pain now. I am on the mend, but I would imagine it's probably be another two weeks until you see my face. In the meantime, we get Kathy making these lovely films for you, so I hope you understand. But this month is a big one. We have a full moon in Cancer. We have Venus entering Aquarius. We have Mercury going retrograde. And we have a fixed Grand Cross, which is making us all look at our dreams and how we sabotage them. Here is your monthly astrology. Gemini, January is all about expansion, adventure, and leaping into 2015, feeling that you can do anything. You don't want to settle with the same old, same old this year. You want to plan adventures, you want to plan journeys. There's a part of you that wants to actually travel the world, but even if you don't do that or don't fancy that literally, your mind wants the journey. You want to learn things, you want to explore things. You don't want to sit still. Venus, the planet of love, is also allowing you this month to be attracted to people with different ideas and different ways of thinking, possibly even eccentric people or people from different cultures or different backgrounds to you. You may bump into someone that is very unusual or very different, and they have a big lesson to teach you this month. You're excited by people that are unusual. And you may find yourself in some kind of romance with somebody definitely not your usual type. If you're in a relationship, it's a great time to travel with your partner or to do something unusual together. The full moon on the fifth is opening your heart to feeling secure within yourself. Security doesn't actually ever come from other people because life is very unpredictable. The only security we have is deep within our own soul. And this full moon is allowing you to really understand that you are much more secure now, you do have much more self-confidence and you're laying foundations and a commitment to you, as well as possibly other people around you digging much deeper foundations with you. Now on the fifth, that's when there's an explosion of adventure and potential as Mercury enters your position of adventure and there's a three planet stellium. All sorts of wild ideas, plans and opportunities are there and it's up to you to allow yourself to open up and of course be realistic, allow that full moon to give you a kind of realistic approach to your dreams but dream big. On the 15th, sorry on the 12th there is a Mars enters your position of career and there's a four planet stellium in your career so you're able to shift your thinking into really making things possible, to looking at what you want to achieve this year and what you really want to achieve this month. And you've got the energy and the focus to really go for it. You're very work orientated. On the 15th, there's a fixed Grand Cross. Now we, last year, we had all those intense Cardinal Grand Crosses, We're moving into a time where they're more fixed crosses. And this one for you is about looking at your sense of adventure and what you want to do that's different, but also looking at how in a way maybe you sabotage yourself. There's some deep healing to be done here. We have Sedna involved in this, which is one of the new planets, and it's really taking you into your very soul, really, in your soul journey, and looking at how you've progressed so far, and what things have come along to rock your soul, in, and to stop you maybe going in the direction of your dreams. This fixed Grand Cross, although quite intense, is able to heal you and help you. And on the 20th, we have a super new moon in your position of adventure and the sun enters your position of adventure and you're able to really, again, leap forward with brand new ideas, a brand new way of being, and being fearless, really. Now, the only kind of fly in the ointment is on the 21st, Mercury, your ruler, is going retrograde. Now, this doesn't have to be bad news. Actually, you can go back to the past and see what mistakes you made or what things were unfinished business or what things you did that maybe didn't allow you to adventure in the way that you'd like to now. Look backwards, look at what you committed to, look at what you didn't do, and find the key to healing your journey so that you can leap into 2015 with a backpack of wisdom on your back, ready to go, go, go. 
You are the beloved when it comes to your career this month. Put those ideas into action and other people will support you and love you through it. Take care. Have a fabulous January and I'll speak to you soon. I've got loads more free astrology on my website and lots of other free readings. www.michellenight.com. I'll see you there.